Hey guys, welcome back. So, today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day, also mixed with like a day in life. So, I'm just going to kind of show you everything that I do today. Um, I always post like my what I eat in a day is on TikTok, but I just feel like they're never really in depth. TikTok is just such a quick video, like it's just quick clips of the food and that is it. So, I just kind of want this video to be a bit more in depth because I get loads of questions asking for what I eat in a day and I just think like a YouTube version would be just much more informative so I'm going to the gym now which is why I am dressed like this Um, this is the gym outfit of the day went for an all grey Um, so yeah it's pull day today I'm doing back and biceps and then I need to go to a coffee shop afterwards to get some work done and and then I'm getting my lashes done at half one which is a really awkward time I don't really know why I agree to that because that is just like cutting my day up for no reason um, but I'm going to pick an outfit to wear after the gym just a cosy one this outfit is from Sisters and Seekers I think it might be my favourite outfit ever it's unreal and also some shoes hmm which shoe shall I wear I'll wear these comfy ones. Okay, I'm literally just about to set off for the gym, but first I'm gonna have a squares bar. Just a bit of pre-workout. I don't really, I don't know if it's just me, but I only really like taking pre-workout um, on leg days. I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Probably shouldn't have opened this in my car. Anyway, I'll see you at the gym. Two coffees and now I think I'm gonna have a protein shake because 
I need some more calories. So I've not really had a chance to speak to you guys to be honest since I have been in there but I have been doing lots of work um, and it was quite busy so I didn't really get a chance to speak too much but for my dinner I had this like chicken carbonara thing that I made last night and then literally just a protein yogurt and some dark chocolate. Um, I've also had two coffees but we won't really talk about that much. So I think I forgot to tell you guys but I went to go get my eyelashes done in between doing some work. Um, but yeah, that's all I've kind of done today. But yeah, this is the outfit by the way. I don't know if I really showed you it earlier. It's my favourite outfit. <laughs> You guys just thought I was feeding my dog some weird substance. Um, I was only feeding him broccoli. He absolutely loves it. Like, you know, the end bit. <laughs> he absolutely gobbles it right up. I apologize in advance for my um, voice when I talk to my dog, by the way. Anyway, so for tea, I'm having garlic and herb, lemon, garlic and herb chicken, and roasted veg, and also one of these. So the tea that I'm making tonight, I am actually meal prepping for tomorrow as well. That's why there was so much veg. I'm not a weirdo. Um, so I'm going to have either one of these tonight. I think I might go for the quinoa and then have that rice tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I love these. These, I would recommend these so highly. I think, I think it's from Lidl. They're like a pound each, so not like £1.50. And they are the most convenient things for like meal prepping. I love them. Um, you can get these, like the grains and stuff, or you can literally just get the rice. Like, you can get plain rice and everything like this. Just so many. Right, I need to kind of work out all the calories, macros, everything I've had today already. So, I'm going to check that now. And then I'll let you know what it is, because I haven't put it all in yet. Okay, so now I'm going to make the garlic butter that I'm going to, like, coat along my chicken. I'll take about that much butter and then about that much and then I'll put that in the microwave for literally about 20 seconds I don't even think it'd need that right and then I'm just gonna add literally just an endless amount of garlic okay I'm just gonna put you there while I finish my concoction of my garlic butter okay so a good tactic I find for like weighing chicken and stuff obviously because I'm not gonna put straight raw chicken in my scales um, I literally just put the chopping board on there <laughs> and then set it to zero get my chicken breast See? 237 grams. You can obviously easily do this with a plate, but I'm just trying to reduce the washing up as much as possible. Also, just as a bit of piece of information, just so you know, when I like give you my calories and stuff for my food, um, I don't weigh out and track my veg and fruit and stuff. I just think it's really pointless and a waste of my time. It's just more to life than weighing out your veg. I am not weighing out some broccoli. Basically, stuff like that, it is not gonna affect your progress. You don't need to worry about weighing out your broccoli and your lettuce. Like, it's all right, it's okay, just chill. You're all right. It's just the main components, I personally think, that need weighing. Um, obviously, if you're tracking. You don't need to weigh anything if you don't want to. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing right now. So, I'm just butterflying the chicken, like, cutting it in half sort of but not fully cutting it and as i said i am meal prepping for tomorrow as well which is why i've got two so i'm gonna put some oil in the pan also if you are tracking calories make sure you're tracking your oil because that shit is a lot of calories like you could be adding an easy like 200 extra calories onto your day by using oil obviously it's not the healthiest and cleverest option but it does help just to add a teeny bit extra to your meals when you're cooking if you are in need of the extra calories.
Yes, so this is the finished product. Got the garlic and lemon and herby chicken, quinoa and roasted veg. This is such a good like meal prep meal. Oh, <laughs> hey there. Um, <laughs> I definitely recommend making something along these lines if you are meal prepping on like a Sunday or whatever or even like replace the quinoa with um, potatoes. I sometimes do like a huge tray bake with like all my veg and all my potatoes all on one tray and it is just really helpful. Okay, I am just finishing off this protein shake and then I'm going to go to bed. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will put all um, calories and macros, whatever, here for today. <clears throat> just so you know what I had. I know not everybody likes to see that. But I will have put, uh, what is it? Um, I'll mention it at the start if you don't want to see that. But obviously I know lots of people are interested in seeing how many calories and macros and stuff everything like that um so yeah i'm gonna put it here for you and i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what else you want to see and i'll see you soon love you